Hello, Young Math Padawans. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the angle relationships formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. But before we begin, it's important to remember that the following statement are always true. Vertical angles are always congruent. So when you have two intersecting lines, they will form pairs of angles across from each other. And those pairs of angles will always be congruent or their measures will always be equal. So the measure of angle 1 will equal 3 and angle 2 will equal 4. Linear pairs are always supplementary. Those are adjacent angles whose non-adjacent side forms a line. So these will always be supplementary, which means that they add up to 180 degrees. But now it's time to learn something new. I want you to follow along as best as you can with these video notes. All you really need is a pencil and a straight edge to do so. So with your straight edge, what I want you to start by doing is drawing a line, just any line here, and an intersection anywhere, let's say, here. So go ahead and draw your two intersecting lines. So let's say for argument's sake that the measure of this angle was 50 degrees you should actually be able to fill in the other three angles knowing what we know about vertical angles and linear pairs. If you feel like you can do that, go ahead and try now. So since we know vertical angles are congruent, that means this angle across will also be 50 degrees. And since linear pairs are supplementary, 50 plus 130 is how you get to 180. So we've now filled in all four angle measurements. Now, I'm going to use my, um, my snipping tool for this. You will have to actually draw this out. What I'm going to do here is copy and paste that exact same diagram and overlap it so that it's written again down below. So essentially, I've just copied and pasted this and dragged it so that this is one continuing line going through. So pause the video now so that you can continue this and um, draw your diagram. So as we recall, this line that's cutting through the other two, we call this a transversal. So I'm going to call that transversal T, and a transversal again is a line that intersects two other lines. Now since I copied and pasted this directly below, it's safe to now conclude that this line here is parallel to this line here. So we're going to use the notation for parallel with two arrows and we'll just call this line A and line B. So we are essentially given that line A here is parallel to line B. And since all the angle measures are there, we're just going to go in and make some conclusions about the various angle types. We have two parallel lines, A and B, and they are cut by transversal T. What do we notice about the corresponding angles? Hmm, let's take a look. Well, so to highlight some corresponding angles, it, this angle here, 50, would correspond to this angle here, 50. And this angle, 130, would correspond with this angle, 130, because corresponding means to be in the same location in both cases. To continue on, if we wanted to, we could say that this 130 degree angle corresponds with this 130 degree angle, and to bring it all together, this 50 degree angle corresponds with this 50 degree angle. So what do we notice about these corresponding angles? They are congruent. They are equal measures. What conclusion can we make about our alternate interior angles? So remember, alternate means opposite sides of the bridge inside of the river. So one pair of alternate interior angles would be this 50 degree angle here and this 50 degree angle here. Our other alternate interior angles are this 130 degree angle with this 130 degree angle. So let's fill in the blank. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the alternate interior angles are congruent again. They have the same measure. The same can be said for our alternate exterior angles. This 130 degree angle is an alternate exterior to this 130 degree angle. And this 50 degree angle is alternate exterior to this one. And it's no surprise that they are also congruent. The last one is your consecutive interior angles. Now these are the ones that are a little bit different. Our consecutive interior angles here would be angle 50 inside of the river is on the same side as angle 130. 
But are those equal to each other? No, but they do add up to 180 degrees. On the other side, this 130 degree angle is consecutive interior to this 50 degree angle. And again, they're not congruent, but they do add up to 180. So what do we call that when two angles add up to 180 degrees? We call that supplementary. So if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So we're going to use all of these conclusions to try a few on our own. Your turn. Find the measure of each indicated angle. Let's take a look at our first one. What type of angles am I given here? Well, they are on the same side of the transversal and inside of the river. We call those consecutive interior angles. And when lines are parallel, we now know that these angles are supplementary. So how would I find the measure of my missing angle? Well, I know that these two angles have to add up to 180, so that math is pretty simple. I would just do 180 minus 124, and that shows me that my missing angle measure is 56 degrees. That was pretty simple. Let's try our next one. What type of angles are we given here? These are our vertical angles. And vertical angles are always congruent, regardless of if the lines are parallel or not. So if this angle has a measure of 80 degrees, that means this angle has the exact same 80 degrees. What type of angles do we have here? These look like they are on opposite sides of the transversal inside of the river. We call these alternate interior angles. And from our exploration, we know that these are also congruent. So if this angle has a measure of 54 degrees, that means this angle will also have a measure of 54 degrees. How about these? Hmm. One of them is inside the river and one of them is outside the river, and they're on the same side of the transversal. That's right, they're in the same location. These are called our corresponding angles. And as we saw in our exploration, we know that these are always going to be congruent if the lines are parallel. So if this angle measure is 65, that means our missing angle measure is also 65. How about this one? Oh, that's easy. These are clearly a linear pair. And as we recall, linear pairs are always supplementary, regardless of if the lines are parallel or not. So to find our missing angle, we would just have to do 180 minus 54, which is a grand total of 126 degrees. Last one, hmm, we have alternate sides of the bridge and they're both in the exterior of the riverbank. These are our alternate exterior angles. And as we saw from our exploration, we know alternate exterior angles are congruent when the lines are parallel. So if this angle measure is 81 degrees, this angle measure is also 81 degrees. So just to recap, these are the four statements that we now know to be true, but only if the lines are parallel cut by a transversal. That's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time.